Hi Rockstar Designers, Angie Carter, Origami Owl Designer and Mentor 2634, coming to you today to talk to you about live Facebook parties. Okay, so what is a live Facebook party? A live Facebook party is kind of what people used to call catalog parties or book parties. Anytime a hostess can't do an in-home party, they could opt to do a live Facebook party. Um, the idea is to set a specific day and time when you're going to meet your hostesses, your hostess and her friends and family back and do a, a live party, usually about an hour to an hour and a half. And there's a couple of ways to do it. You can do it in a Facebook event, set that up, have your hostess invite all of her friends and family, and you can hold the party in that. Or my personal preference is to do it in a group, a Facebook group. Uh, you create the group, have your hostess invite all her friends and family, adding them to the group. I do want to stress one thing about the group. Please, 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 please implore to your hostess not to just add her friends and family to the group without asking. It is imperative that she ask permission before adding them to the group because I know if you're like me, you have been added to one or two groups, we won't name any direct sales names, but that you did not mean to be in and you found out that you were in this group and it was kind of annoying. So it will annoy people. So please implore to your hostess to ask before she adds. Uh, please ignore my little why do what I do, little Nathan Phillip. He'll be running around, just ignore him. Okay, so back to Facebook parties. Okay, so what I ask my hostess to do, whether she um, chooses a group or an event, I ask her to do a video clip, much like this one, personally inviting her friends and family. It can be short, 30 seconds, a minute long. All she has to do is kind of explain what an Origami Owl live Facebook party is, the day and the time, and ask them to join. So um, it's important when she emails that out to include the link to the, to the group or event. Um, <laughs> it, that's important. Okay, so if she won't do a video clip, that's okay too. She can just email, text, or Facebook message her friends and family with the link of the event or group, asking them to join. And, um, and, and that works too. Okay, so I have a love-hate relationship with live Facebook parties. So let me tell you why I don't like them first. What I don't like about them is, is if at all possible, I would prefer to do an in-home jewelry bar. The sales are higher, my hostess is happier because she gets better rewards. I really feel like our jewelry is a touch, feel, try on um, type of product. I wanna be able to show them all the different looks, give them suggestions, because of course they're looking to us to be the expert in this field. So I, at all possible, would love to get in the hostess's home. Now, as you all know, sometimes that just isn't possible. Maybe the hostess lives in another city or state than you. Yeah. Or maybe um, the hostess just feels like she is just too busy and can't do it, whatever. Um, so sometimes Facebook Live parties is, is the only option for this hostess. Now, one of the reasons I do like Facebook parties is because there's times if the hostess is out of state or somewhere else, I would not normally be able to reach her friends and family and help her get free jewelry if we're not for the live Facebook party because we live in different places. So I do like the live Facebook party for that aspect. I also like the live Facebook party for the aspect of it's the end of the month. I'm gonna have my own Facebook um, live party tomorrow, October 28th. It's gonna help me reach some month end goals, help me help some girls get some jewelry before the holidays, and then I'll probably run it as a mystery hostess, so at the end of that party, I'll give away the hostess rewards as a um, incentive to join my party. So there's a couple of reasons why I like the live Facebook party. So in a nutshell, the way that it works is I have a script pre-typed and all of the posts are numbered. So I generally have, I have I think 25 posts already pre-written and um, you leave the numbers 
when you post that in the group or event. So it'll say post one and then whatever that says. And you copy and paste it from your script into the party, the live party. And the reason you wanna leave the numbers there is because if someone can't come right at the start or they come the next day or whatever, you want them to be able to go back numerically and see the order of the party because you're introducing these things in a specific order. Okay, so on your script, you're gonna want to put post one, whatever you're gonna copy and paste, and underneath you're gonna want to put what images, videos, or clips associated with that um, post. Now, I have the script, and then on my computer, I have folders numbered one through 25. So in folder one, the images that go with post one are right there. That way I can quickly go from copying paste post one into the group or event and then go grab the images from that post one folder. Now there are a couple of different websites that can help you do that for you. I do it manually myself, but there's a couple like Scentshare and Hootsuite. Those will automatically post if you preset them. I've never tried it that way. I hear it's a real time saver, but I just do it manually. Okay, so the other thing to watch is time. I like to keep my party, I would ideally like to get it down to an hour. I haven't been able to do that yet. Um, but you want to ideally keep it to an hour to an hour and a half because, you know, partying in your pajamas is fun, but, you know, enough is enough already. So if somebody's party is really interactive and a lot of people are chatting and there's a lot of answering questions I have to do, sometimes I'll see, oh my gosh, I'm only on post 12 and it's already been an hour. So I know I am not going to get all 25 posts. So I will look and see which posts are imperative that I would like to have um in that group or party. So the main key there is if you go down, you're posting one through one, two, three, four, get down to say 12 and you realize you need to skip 13, 14, 15 and post 16, you want to add, be sure that you change the number when you're copying paste. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, post 16, you make post 13 in this particular example. Um, that's just, I like to have more posts than I need just because what if there's not a lot of interaction? I want to fill the whole hour. Hasn't been a problem yet, um, but I'm prepared if it is. Some people play games. I don't play games because, like I said, time is an issue for me. And um, But I have some games there in, in my template just in case I need them. And then, of course, at the end, I give away a prize, like maybe a free charm or free dangle, whatever. And unless it's a mystery hostess, if it's a mystery hostess, then I give away the hostess rewards. Usually I ask that um, anyone who plays a specific amount, like $30, $40, $50, whatever, will be entered to be in the mystery hostess. So you have to actually place an order to get the rewards um, to be in the running to be the, the mystery hostess. Because um, the event or group is private, we would be allowed to post that kind of enticing thing um, where we wouldn't normally be able to do that in the open public forum per our policy and procedures. Okay, so that's basically the story with Facebook Live Parties. Um, if you're watching this and you are on my team, I'm going to be posting a link below um, in the group for the party that I'm going to be running tomorrow, October 28th. I'm gonna do that at 9 p.m. And I'll post the link if you wanna come and join and see how one works, you are welcome to join it. Um, of course, you're not eligible to be my mystery hostess, but you'll be able to see how it works. Anything I have, you're welcome to use. If you are watching this and you are not part of our team and you're, um, you're interested in doing a live Facebook party or an in-home party, contact me. Or if you're interested in the opportunity, please let me know. You can call or text me at 813-210-1588. You can Facebook friend me or message me or email me at J A J M. C-A-R-T-E-R -E at verizon.net and I would love to help you. And today I am wearing the over the heart chain with the extra piece removed. I'm wearing that on my ankle. Uh, makes it about 20 inches. I love this length 
for me personally with a hot pink twist face with some of my favorite charms and a hot pink dangle. And of course my now is right on time twist face, um, twist silver face and uh, watch with the um, love window expression and of course my stud earrings. All right, well, it's been great spending this few minutes with you. Let me know if you have any questions about live Facebook parties. Get out there and rock it, girls. Have a great day.